good morning to all of you uh, in last class we had discussed about the fault tree analysis so this is the some of the symbols which we had used such as basic event then resultant event and there are two types by which we can determine the overall failure rate or the overall probability of the failure of the system one is by probability failure and another one was failure rate evaluation so here in this uh, if you use and gate and overall failure rate or overall failure rate of the failure probability of the top event that is to be determined it can be determined like this that is probability of failure of this event is equal to probability of a dot probability of b similarly if or gate is used probability of failure of the top event is given by probability of c plus probability of d minus probability of c dot probability of d however since probability of failure say for example it is 0.1 and here it is 0.2 multiplication of 0.1 into 0.2 becomes minus 0.01 Zero two, so you can ignore this because of very low probability failure. So only these two you can consider. So in OR gate, probability of failure are added up, and whereas for AND gate, it is product of probability of failure. So this is nothing but to be used when probability of failure is given. Probability of failure is given. Otherwise, in last class we had solved when failure rate was given. So with this and also we have drawn from how to draw FTA to reliability block diagram. How to draw the from FTA to reliability block diagram. So in OR gate, this is the for failure rate evaluation. We use the following relationship. In series, uh, OR gate is equivalent just like a series system. Whereas AND gate is used for connection of the components in parallel configuration or the faults in the parallel configurations so we this we have already understood and this we had also solved this problem that is lambda t1 is equal to lambda 1 plus lambda 2 lambda t3 is equal to lambda 5 plus lambda 6.002 since each failure rate is 0.001 Therefore, lambda also lambda t4 is equal to lambda 3 plus lambda 4, that is 0 0.002. Whereas lambda t2 is equal to here, since it is an AND gate, you have to use the formula that is lambda 7 multiplied by z7 minus 1 plus z t4. This, this is bottom up approach. So here it is lambda t4 that is z t4 minus 1 multiplied by lambda t4 which you had calculated just now divided by product of all the z values product of all the z values z is given by 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus lambda i t this z value is just a function it is nothing to do with what we had done in previously and you may say that z is equal to why not it is 1 upon because if you see denominator it looks like it is a failure rate but just it is a function you can't equate this to that so z i is equal to 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus lambda i t and failure rate is will be given to us so accordingly we calculated in last class z values 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus lambda 7 dot t and once you get this you can get the overall failure rate that is addition of all these three failure rates lambda t1 lambda 2 t2 and lambda t3 so once you get lambda t0 and you know mission time you can find the reliability of the entire system similarly we had drawn the rbd based on this fta so what we said that or gate is equivalent to series or gate is used when it is in components are in series so you can say this component is in series with this 
and this is another subsystem which is in series and here it is again or so 1 and 2 will be in series whereas 7 will be in series also with this system but here 3 and 4 will be in parallel component so and gate here we are using so 7 will be in parallel with 3 and 4 which are in series connected with this subsystem also third subsystem is 5 and 6 which are in again series connected to all these three these two subsystems so likewise you can draw the from fta to rbd diagram and vice versa that is if rbd is given you should be able to draw the poultry analysis so one more problem based on the this uh, previous problem was how to determine the failure rate evaluation now let us consider again uh, how to determine the failure rate evaluation now for example uh, this is an and gate that means one and two are in parallel so calculating lambda gt1 that is equal to 2 lambda z minus 1 because both have got same failure rate data given to us lambda 1 is equal to lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3 is equal to 0 0.004 failure per hour all failures statistically independent mission time is 200 hours compute failure rate of the top event so gt0 is equal to before that we should find out this lambda gt1 that is equal to lambda 1 dot z1 minus 1 addition plus lambda 2 dot z2 minus 1 divided by product of all these z values that is z1 dot z2 minus 1 so where z is nothing but 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus lambda t since lambda has got same failure rate you may equate this as 2 lambda z2 z minus 1 divided by since lambda is same, you will get same z values also. So it becomes z square minus 1. So it so you further simplify it, you will get 2 lambda divided by z plus 1. Similarly, z g t0 that is this one. So this will be lambda 1 z1 minus 1 plus lambda 2 z2 minus 1 divided plus lambda 3 z3 minus 1 divided by lambda z1 z2 and z3 minus 1 or since all the failure rates are same so we'll get 3 lambda z minus 1 divided by so and so likewise you will get simplified equation like this substituting these values likewise you can determine the overall failure rate overall failure rate now similarly uh, if probability of failure is given so how to determine so since it is the and gate and if probability of failure is uh, p1 t and for lambda 2 it is p2 t so it becomes since it is and gate so it will be product of p1 t dot p2 t so this will be the intermediate resultant probability of failure then again here if probability of failure is given as p3 t so it will become uh, p g t 0 is equal to product of this this and this so we will get p1 dot p2 dot p3 t and since reliability is one minus of probability of failure so this becomes reliability you can determine by like this so this is nothing but the second method first method is given in the right hand side and here it is the using probability failure overall reliability can is nothing but one minus of product of p1 t dot p2 t dot p2 3 dot p3 t likewise uh, there are different case studies which is uh, there uh, that is for example damages to the boiler auxiliaries boilers are used for steam generation so uh, investigation was done why there was damages to the boiler auxiliaries boiler auxiliary auxiliaries so uh, this is this were the causes some of one two three four five six six major causes were identified misalignment in bearings then wear 
then overheating of tubes then water droplets was one another condition due to feed water tubes and tube plates then creep rupture and sixth was excessive wear in the wearing period that is uh, in the bearings and couplings etc and further why it was misalignment it was due to eccentricity unbalance that was without any notice catastrophic failure or audible effect is occurred and mainly this is due to vibration signature balancing and for wear uh, corrosion and erosion took place this can be eliminated by regularly doing the ndt test non destructive test and by which can be done through ultrasonic thickness gauge three body wear test in simulated setup then ultrasonic flaw detector microprocessor controller so second wear second cause then third was overheating then infrared this can be done this can be observed by infrared sensors optical pyrometer then the third was uh, fourth was water droplets due to feed water tubes which caused the damage to the boil boiler then fifth creep that can be monitored through online metallography through ferrography ferrography is one of the equipment which is used for analyzing the wear of the particles of the samples you collect from this boilers just like uh, since it is name itself is a ferrography it is meant for ferrous kind of material most of the automobile industry equipments we use ferrous kind of atoms since it is known as ferrography to analyze whether it is normal to continue with those kind of machines or it is abnormal or it may cause that is severity cause damage to the entire system so ferrous ferrography is one of the equipment which was uh, invented by the douglas scott in the year 1970s so this is used for analyzing the oil samples so by this you can monitor the boiler then there are another system such as this is two things are there again one is normal ferrography under normal temperature you measure this and one is hot ferrography when the temperature uh, when the oil collected sample you raise the temperature to 65 degrees celsius then it is known as hot ferrography in industry most of the temperature you will find that it is rising continuously it is working for several days several weeks several months and temperature you will find it is greater than always 65 degree so such condition is known as hot ferrography whenever the sample oil sample is greater than 65 it is known as hot ferrography other methods are rotary particle analyzer and soap is there spectroscopic oil analysis program soap stands for so this is the one of the case studies which was done for boiler boiler auxiliaries causes of based on this you can draw the fault tree analysis based on this you can draw the fault tree analysis so this is another example so you can see top event top event is there that is starting from the erosion or corrosion one of the basic fault misalignment of boiler lack of preventive maintenance again here lack of preventive maintenance creep is one of the defects occur occurs in the equipments or components then inadequate air flow inadequate flow may be liquid or whatever it is being used overheating then another uh, malfunction is one of the cause then hp heater likewise incorrect heat treatment and poor material used in the equipment so based on this this basic fault are identified and likewise or and accordingly and gates are used now here if you see or gate is used so probability of failure of this can be determined by a plus b similarly here it is and gate is used that is lack of preventive maintenance so here it can be written as a plus b dot c likewise here gt3 is equal to here two and gates are used c dot d 
and since it is again OR gate, this is bottom up approach. So here OR gate, so A plus B dot C plus CD, this is the intermediate event. And if you take the right hand side of this, so here it is AND gate, so it will be E dot F, then GT7 will be E dot F plus G because of OR gate. And here G plus HF, HI. And here it is OR gate, so EF plus G plus HI. And top event is again, top event is AND gate. So this T4 dot T9, you can say T4 dot T9, which is represented like this. Now, if you see the top event, if you see the top event, it is just A plus B plus, uh, sorry, A plus B dot C. Uh, here you see A plus B plus, A plus B dot C plus C D. So A plus B plus D dot C is, it is represented. And since IND gate is used, so E F plus G plus G plus H I using Boolean algebra, G plus G can be represented as G. So it, you are minimized this to A plus B plus D dot C. Then dot E F plus G plus H I using this as the top event. B diagram, if you see B diagram, which is further minimized based on this. So A plus B plus D dot C and here E F plus H I plus G. So this is represented using AND gate because of dot. Then here A plus B D can be represented by OR gate. So this is minimized further. And if you see right hand side, it is E F plus G plus H I that can be represented using E F can be represented using AND gate and H I can be represented using AND gate and G is single basic uh, basic event and this all our addition can be represented using OR gate. So you can see if you see diagram A and diagram B, if a lot of gates have been minimized, but resultant event is same. Resultant top event both if you see is same here also, which can be used this that is, gives us the minimized or minimized using AND gates or OR gates. So, but net, event, net, net top event is same, net top event is same, but if you see here, lot of faults are there, which is minimized into this, from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, G, whereas here it is up to I. Some uh, events here has been uh, twice, lack of preventive maintenance, maybe in one subsystem, here also the for boiler preventive maintenance was not done. Here also there are two G that is malfunctioning of heater, high pressure heater. So which is represented here that is G. But overall top event is same. So by this way you can minimize the usage of faults and and or or gate. But net event we are interested in the top event only. So this is one of the example. How to minimize the usage of OR and AND gate based on the original P and I diagram or the cause and effect diagram that we did from here. So this is one of the case studies that is comprehensive tree. Now uh, similarly, this is another um, for bearings. This is the for bearing the fault tree analysis has been done. You see. The basic faults of bearing are pitting wear on balls, excessive wear of race base. In bearing, you will find there are small uh, balls, chromium balls are there, and inner and outer races are there, and it, it carries, transmits the power, and load also it carries, axial as well as thrust loads. Production mechanical store knows what is bearing, how it is, the composition is there. It consists of race. Hold the race balls or to hold the uh, balls, it is kept in the race. Outer ring and inner ring is there. Then, another cause of the this is tribological causes identified tilting of the top off of the bearing, then material composition, then impact of load on bucket, 
the non level of tract so these are the causes of the failure failure of the bearings so this was another case study so based on this here and gate is used similarly here also and gate is used prior to that here this is or gate due to impact load on bucket or non level of tract so this becomes t3 if you call this since it is and gate so e dot f dot g here it is and gate c dot a plus b because of or gate and here it is or gate so e f g plus a plus b dot c and if you see the top event that is d dot e f g plus a b dot c so a a b has been expressed a c plus p c has been represented so this is the top event d dot e f g plus a c plus b c d dot e f g plus a c plus b c so this is another case study for failure of the bearing failure of the large bearing another case study is there that is it is also known as sometimes you may be confusing why it is fta ft here also ft uh, sorry fme fme is uh, in line with fta failure mode effects analysis is another word we sometimes it is used as fta also so this is another case study for this fme stands for failure modes and effect analysis why the failure occurred when we investigate of any equipment or any so just like here for case study of piping pipe rolling rolling of pipe with piercing mandrel so why failure occurred so you can see here that is basic faults has been written drawn here with the circle a stands for pitting c low thermal shock resistance likewise e material composition g leakage of cooling water i in advocate design likewise t0 is the intermediate events probability of failure of the system that is t0 top event t1 and t3 t4 are the intermediate event subsystem for rolling with mandrel and piercing plug whereas t4 is subsystem this another subsystem of guide plates that is causes the probability of failure subsystem probability of failure of guide plate this subsystem so with this and t1 t2 is accordingly respective subsystems for this a b c d and t2 is for e and f and whereas other faults are improper heat treatment d is inadequate hot hardness f is hot hard hardness h is uh, near due to uh, we are sorry we are due to temperature abrasion h is here you see h the cause of fault or the is due to wear due to temperature abrasion so likewise so this for case study this is the fault tree basic faults and how it is connected and gate or or gate and overall event represents t3 plus t4 that is a b c d plus g plus e f plus h plus i so this is the failure mode effects analysis or fta of the pipe rolling now one more example uh, in failure mode effects analysis so procedure is like this least least sorry and list all basic causes of failure anticipated for the system after identifying system structure draw the fault tree containing the important and pertinent 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 events and connect them through the logic diagram using and or gates and resultant and completed events use laws of boolean algebra to simplify fta diagram so this is the fault tree with events repeated you can see here here in this diagram a1 and a1 is the events repeated so sequential block diagram is invariably drawn starting from the basic fault events and processing upward so that is bottom up approach 
So A1, A2, A3 are the fault events. C is the basic fault event. Why it is called basic fault event? Because directly it is connected to the top event. Whereas A1, A2, A3 are fault events. B1, B2, B3, B1, B2, B0 are the mean intermediate fault events. T1 is the top event. And again, A1 here, it is repeated fault event. Now using Boolean algebra, we'll try to minimize this or simplify this. So we know this Boolean algebra, which is shown in the left-hand side, loss of absorption, loss of identities, distributive law. Now here, B1 is equal to OR gate is used. So A1 plus A2, B2 again A1 plus A3. B0 will be B1 dot B2. B0 will be B1 dot B2. Why? Because of AND gate. And what is B0? B0, B1 and B2, which is written as A1 plus A2 dot A1 plus A3. And T is what? T is B0 dot B0 dot C. So hence we can represent T as top event as B0 will be A1 plus A2 dot A1 plus A3 dot C. Now expanding this first, that is B0. It becomes A1, A1 plus A1, A2 plus A1 plus A2 or plus A1, A3. Here you can see A1, A3 and plus A2, A3 and C is here dot C. It will remain as it is. Now A1 dot A1 using law of identity, it becomes A1. A1 dot A1. Here you see left hand side law of identity under A dot A is equal to A. So it becomes A1 plus A2 A1. Now A1 plus A2 A1 you see A plus A dot B is equal to A. So it becomes A1. Again it becomes A1 here. Now other things will remain as it is A3 A1. We rewrite here plus A2 A3. We rewrite here. Now again A1 plus A3 A1 using law of absorption it becomes A1. So final top event will be equal to C dot A1 plus A2 A3. C dot A1 plus A3 dot A2. So this is the top event which we simplified. So this is the top event. You can see using Boolean algebra we have simplified this. So this is another example of failure mode effects analysis that is to list all the basic causes of failure and accordingly draw the logic fault tree analysis and from this also you can draw the simplified same FTA you can represent using this top event that is C dot A1 plus A3 dot A2. Now this is another example, one more example. You can see left hand side simplified to right hand side. Here you can see AB connected through OR gate and again D is there. So A plus, A, A plus B dot D, here C dot D and here OR gate is there. So T0 is equal to T0 is equal to A plus B dot D plus C D and D you can take common. So A plus B plus C it becomes. So using the probability failure. Here you can see probability of T0 failure of top event is equal to probability of D dot T1, D dot T1. That is equal to probability of D plus probability of T1. So here probability of A plus B plus C is equal to probability of A plus probability of B plus probability of C minus of all this plus addition multiplication of all individual probability and if you see the top event that is a plus b plus c dot t here here you see top event t0 is equal to a plus b plus c dot d because d is common here which is represented here again instead of using so much gates we have simplified here in terms of d as basic, basic fault and here a plus b plus c representing using the or gate so please go through this that is T0 is equal to this how we have simplified T0 is A plus B dot D plus CD and it becomes AD plus BD plus CD 
you can take d common so t0 is equal to a plus b plus c dot d so here which is represented like this and using minimized gates and or gates or end gates you are representing this here it is one two three three gates whereas here only two gates here one two three four five five faults are here fault events are here whereas here only four events are there fault events are there so this is if you see left hand side it's equivalent to fta is like this and which represents same top event that is a plus d dot a plus b plus c and if you if you are asked to draw the rbd of this you can easily draw because d is in and is you top event so here it is and gate so d is in parallel with this subsystem which are which is which are in series a b c are in series because of or gate so you can draw very easily that is like this one will be that is subsystem one that is d will be in parallel with this a b c which are in series so this is this is the reliability block diagram that is component d failure causing due to component d and here there will be three components a b c likewise you can draw this here a likewise one more component b because of or gate is used here it is or gate and we know that equivalent or gate is in series so for or gate we use it's equivalently connected in series so this is c a b and this is the reliability block diagram of the left hand side I hope you understood. Any question till now? If you are asked to draw from this RBD fault tree, you should be able to draw. How? Because it is in parallel, so you will use AND gate here. And subsystem, these are connected in series, so you will use OR gate here. And accordingly, you can draw the FTA. So you should be able to draw from RBD, FTA, and vice versa. Any question till now? Now, uh, after fault tree analysis, let us try to understand some other that is FME in detail for failure mode effects analysis and failure mode effects and criticality analysis. One more thing that is this figure shows you the Ishikawa diagram. Many of you may be knowing. So also known as fishbone diagram. It is known as also known as cause and effect diagram. So there are three names. Uh, one is Ishikawa diagram. Because Ishikawa did this. It is also known as cause and effect diagram. And one more is fish bone diagram because it looks like the fish. If you see skeleton of fish. Uh, eyes at the right hand side or face at the right hand side and all the fish uh, skeletons like this. So this is known as uh, fishbone diagram. Now this is uh, offline filtering unit of a hydraulic system. One case study Ishi, uh, Ishigawa fishbone diagram. And various causes and effect has been drawn here in this. There is a change of filter. You see flow of oil improper. Causes of the failure. Vibration and noise causing clogging of filter. Inadequate pressure. Reservoir temperature rise then uh, another causes are filter not working non return valve not working meter motor speed inadequate variation of pump speed dcv spool failed so these are 
then that is the of the offline filter that is clog due to this uh, clogging of unit is taking place and it's cause and effects you can draw on this here like this you need to change filter well checked occasionally that is why it is not working properly voltage stabilizer you may use for the motor speed of inadequate then variation of pump speed likewise speed control relay can then there may be cause of this of the DCV spool field speed regulation automation so this is known as the fishbone diagram or the Ishikawa diagram where we draw the cause and effect of this now coming to the failure mode effects analysis and failure mode effects and criticality analysis here FME stands for failure mode effects analysis and FMEC stands for failure mode effects and criticality analysis. C stands for criticality. And difference more or less, uh, it, is, it has got not much difference. Only C stands for criticality means ranking is given. Most critical one, most critical two, which is one. Third, ranking is given. Fourth, fifth, likewise. That is in ranking. So most critical if for in pump. So relay is not number one. Number two, uh, stirrer is not working. So likewise in hydraulic power pack. So in ranking wise, you can find most critical item. That is hence it is FMEC. Ranking wise, it is identified. Number one, number two, number three. Before that, uh, let us understand some of the basic concepts. That is uh, according to accepted standard. What is failure? According to accepted standards, failure is defined as the termination of the ability of an item to perform a required function. You see, each item components system has got its own function. Mobile is there. It should work properly. Watch is there. It should give proper time. LCDs are there. TVs are there. LEDs are there. So each items, each system, each function, each subsystem has got its own function. So in according to accepted standard failure is nothing but termination of the ability of an item to perform a required function when it ceases the give, giving us the function or it stops functioning whatever is the it is supposed to do then we say the failure occurs so termination of the ability of an item to perform a required function now failure uh, is nothing but uh, complete non-working or functionally unacceptable that is failure that we understand very easily complete non-working or functionally unacceptable likewise different types of failures classification of failure as given by marvin and newt is as given below in this block diagram failure is classified into two types intermittent failure and extended failure then Extended failure are of again two types complete failure and partial failure. Again, complete failure are of two types sudden failure that is catastrophic without any notice. Uh, failure occurs while well, suppose you are going to college and according uh, suddenly your bike or your four wheeler is uh, doesn't function, then it is known as catastrophic failure, sudden failure without any notice. Uh, another is gradual failure likewise partial failure is there again it is partial failure may be due to sudden failure and gradual failure is degraded failure so these are the types of failure so according to uh, british standard failure modes are classified like this total loss of function partial loss of function and erroneous function uh, partial loss of function in this case a function is not achieved at all or the quality of the function is far beyond what is considered as acceptable and partial loss of function is this group may be very wide and may range from the nuisance category almost to the total loss of function and whereas erroneous function this means that the item performs an action that was not intended often the opposite of the intended function so error occurs so that is erroneous function so this is failure modes Again, uh, this failure causes different types of causes are there. 
that we will understand tomorrow. So, so I'll stop here. Let me join flying club and mark your attendance in the chat box. Thank you.